Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. That's okay. Are you okay? I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I really, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, but it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I just don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see if you can do something about to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if you just have to. Please, try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's your own fault that she's all unlikable. Can you hear me, Joseph? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> Oh, I legit thought we were gonna have to go back into the game. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, Yuri, of course, because she's the last one. Finally! <laughs> Yuri holds my phone to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it! I love everything about it! Joseph, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Uh, sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Joseph. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die! Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope this makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll, I'll even touch, touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll, I'll give myself paper coats so your skin will enter my... <coughs> my, my bloodstream. <laughs> You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Like, is it bad that I physically can't read this? Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is... <laughs> More important, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Duh. I, I think I'm gonna vomit. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how it feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again, unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. What, wait, was there something under this or something here? Hey guys, the ghost of uh, Joseph's future here. I just realized the blood is the memento of the occasion below. <laughs> I, I'm fucking intelligent, aren't I? So who feels? I think I know who blank feels. Stagnating air is coming for Sharon that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make the cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can, well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. That's a great idea, and gives us all something to do. Uh, what about Joseph? Joseph is going to be helping me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like, you would fucking know! All you care about now is dragging Joseph around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay then, why not let Joseph decide who, um, to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Joseph make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez. Joseph, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just 
Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your fucking mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? See, it was already gonna drag onto her name anyway. Yay! You picked me! We can all meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking Joseph for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Here, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Joseph away from every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It'd be really beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little bit. Natsuki, just let it go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. It's not so much to ask. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Joseph. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. Joseph, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a fair, greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone who care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire world around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is about to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Joseph. I have to tell you, I am I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I have pins and needles now when she said that, like my blood was saying that too. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Joseph, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I can even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Joseph. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? <sighs> <laughs> but for now guys, you, you get to hear the spam. I probably will skip a bit of this, but if I say anything interesting, then I'll uh, let you guys know, okay? This is really fucked, like, I'm not gonna lie, man. Oh, fuck. Jeez, that actually kind of startled me. I'm like, you know, slowly we'll just see her decay, you know, it's not really a fun thing to say. Man, editing self, aren't you enjoying this? Like, this is a, this is a mad beat, isn't it? Boom. Oh, look at her eyes, like, just slowly just... They're just grey, like almost fully grey. It's just the tiniest bit of purple left there. And you can even see the blood changing colour slowly as well. Like it's going from red to brown. But that's only because I'm skipping through it so fast that you actually notice it. Like even the knife on the ground and stuff is all thing. Oh yeah, and her, she's getting stuff under her eyelids as well. Because like, you know. Man, what is my character thinking in this moment? Does he even think at all? Is he just like, man, what the fuck? Why am I still standing here for hours on end staring at Yuri's dead body like? Oh yeah, look at her eyes now. They're just fully grey now. You can even see just there on the cheekbone that like she's just properly decomposing now. And like even look at her hand like. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought you... Huh? Ah! Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Joseph, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past... Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Joseph? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Yuri's deleted. Uh, Natsuki's deleted. Almost done. 
I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from okay. tray and takes the cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second.